The weekend is here, almost for us, which means St. Patrick's Day is upon us from the parade to the Emerald Green River. CBS 2's Audrina Begas has more on the city's sights and sounds. All green, all day. Chief O'Neill! And it's just a small sign of what's to come. We go more out than they do in Ireland, actually. <laughs> At Chief O'Neill's on the city's northwest side, more than 1,000 people have their reservation in for St. Paddy's Day here. Enjoying Irish culture, seeing how the Irish like to celebrate. Here's one way. None other than some good old corned beef. We'll probably run about 30,000 pounds through this place. Cured brisket, seasoned and boiled. Plus 30 cases of cabbage at Harrington's Deli. And if Irish food's not your thing, how about Irish dancers? The Trinity Irish dancers hit two dozen spots today, all ahead of the big day tomorrow. When the city's St. Patrick's Day parade makes its way through downtown, right after the Chicago River goes green. And it's almost time. At 9 a.m., the Chicago River will be dyed, and then the parade starts at noon. But you can expect lane closures in this area starting at 8 a.m. City officials say if you want to get around all of this, your best bet is Lakeshore Drive. On the river tonight, Audrina Vegas, CBS 2 News.